So today we are in uh, Amsterdam with uh, Jure Groeneboom, and uh, yeah, you just moved to this uh, nice location. Um, and I see that you are not only selling but also uh, designing and producing products here, right in the center of Amsterdam, um, which is of course uh, interesting. So could you please tell us a bit more about uh, your own background and uh, about what Create uh, is? Yeah. Uh, I studied uh, at TU Delft, at, at, at uh, the Faculty of Industrial Design Engineering. Uh, when I finished my study, I started to work as an uh, independent designer. I also worked for HEMA for a while. And I discovered slowly on that, that to, to, make, uh, to do real product development, you actually have to be uh, in China, where everything is made, where everything is done. Uh, and at the moment I was, I was sick of that and thinking, yeah, what, what would enable me to, uh, to be able to bring back production to the Netherlands uh, with techniques that are uh, less uh, uh, labor intensive uh, in order to, to, uh, to, to sell it for a good price. Well, then, uh, of course, I, I knew about 3D printing. Uh, uh, the 3D printing revolution was, was, was starting. So I really looked into that, but also uh, laser cutting, uh, another digital fabrication uh, method was, uh, was very interesting. Um, so the, the basic idea was, uh, okay, when you design something in the, in, in the computer, the machine knows how to, how to move, uh, knows how to, how to make it. So that's, that's the, the machine's job. 3D printers we can leave on at night. So uh, yeah, you don't need, to need a worker for, for that. So it's, it's, uh, those are te techniques that are, are uh, less uh, labor intensive. So uh, suitable for, for uh, using uh, within Holland within, uh, or, or making products for a good price. And even that these techniques, um, they don't result in a lot of uh, garbage. Uh, they are not very noisy, uh, not very bad fumes. Uh, so these techniques are, are suitable for using within uh, uh, an office space or even at home. So uh, yeah, the idea was to, to, to start a little factory uh, within Amsterdam and to be very transparent. Uh, this is now a place with a lot of windows, so every, everyone can look in, uh, look inside and see how we make our products. Uh, they can come inside, they can have a look. Uh, uh, so that was also the, the idea to be as transparent as possible and to run such a factory yeah, you still you still need workers, and you still need people that know how to how to work with this machinery. Uh, it's not so completely a plug and play. You really need to understand the the, the, the opportunities, but also the limitations of the techniques. Uh, so this is a sort of new craft. There, there are no educations uh, for learning how to work with the 3D printer or learning how to work with the laser cutter. So. We wanted to create uh, uh, that, and and that's what that's all, what we're doing. Uh, we offer uh, 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 a, a traineeship for for youngsters that are uh, have a, that have a distance to, to the labor market, uh, but everyone is is, is is welcome. But we focus mainly on on, the, on that target group, and we learn them the new skills uh, to work with these techniques to uh, to get them interested in. Uh, uh, in technique, a combination with, with digital work. Uh, so you just mentioned that you have experience in the product development in uh, the traditional manufacturing domain, uh, where products are usually made in a large series. So in your opinion, what are the main differences uh, between uh, industrial manufacturing and uh, this urban fabrication setting? The, the, the biggest difference is that in a normal way, uh, most of the products are made with injection molding or, or, or techniques. That uh, for which you need a large series of of of, uh, of, of, of of products to to make it feasible uh, and viable. Uh, with 3D printing, yeah, every every design that you that you think of, uh, yeah, could be made. Uh, starting a, a small production in order to see, okay, is there an interest in the market? And actually, there was an interest uh, from from uh, another manufacturer, uh, and now under under a, a license, they are producing this in, in bigger scale. So yeah, in, in this way, you can also see 3D printing uh, as, a, as a, a method that allows you to, to make a small series, to see if there's an interest uh, uh, and to see how it goes. 
and then to upscale it uh, with a different uh, uh, technique. Uh, but then the risk is a lot, lot lower because yeah, you, you already know uh, 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 that the, mark, the, that the market is, is interested. So every product can be different. You don't have to think in a series of, of hundreds of thousands uh, of, of products uh, that should be all the same. No, it, it allows us to make every product different. Uh, optimization uh, can be done very fast because yeah, you can con con continuously uh, 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 make, make uh, prototypes, uh, a trial and error, and, and learn very fast, adjust the drawing and, 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 and make it again. And that's that's uh, that's yeah that that really shortens uh, the whole product development uh, 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 project. Uh, yeah, we can do things uh, uh, very fast. Uh, so um, yeah, in your store, uh, you're selling some several products. Some of them uh, we see uh, here. Uh, could you highlight a, a few examples and uh, walk us through how they were designed? Uh, and what uh, capabilities and limitations of the uh, digital manufacturing technologies uh, were considered. Well, another product that we make with 3D printing are these uh, vases. Uh, we have uh, three different uh, shapes. Yeah, and, and, it, and this is a shape that you actually cannot make with a different kind of production technique. Uh, it's uh, yeah. It also gives the 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 the, the, the product a very characteristic uh, uh, design. And the thing is, is that yeah, three D printing it takes a long time to 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 make. So we can't sell this uh, with a very cheap price. Uh, but the face is because of 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 the special uh, shape. It's uh, a quite uh, good uh, uh, good selling product. Uh, well, the other products are, are all laser cut, and this is a very well uh, running uh, product, uh, the name puzzle. So a, uh, a puzzle uh, where the name of the child is, is cut out and all, uh, all letters consist of different uh, uh, puzzle pieces. Uh, we have them in different color combination. And that's, that's the, 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 the strength of, of these techniques that every Okay, the, 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 the layout is, is, is the same, but then we can customize with, with, with the name, with, with the colors. And that's what's, uh, yeah, what, what's a very interesting product uh, to, to, to sell then. Yeah, and sure. also that we make everything ourselves here, even the, the packaging, uh, we, we make ourselves. And also this is, it takes a long time to, to optim optimize, to, uh, to get the most out of, out of the material that you have, to avoid uh, uh, to, uh, to have a lot of uh, garbage in the end, uh, but also the freedom to, uh, yeah, when you have a new product, you always need a new uh, uh, package uh, around it. Yeah, and to, to be able to do it yourself also saves a lot of time and, uh, and, and money. So this is an overview. Uh, and so for example, uh, these name puzzles and the name lamp are example products where uh, the buyer can customize yeah. the product. So could, in what, how does uh, the end user uh, supply his uh, preference? A customer, uh, he or she is, is not a designer. So uh, they like to have some freedom uh, to, to, to pick the color, uh, to, to tell us a name. Uh, but it, there are also examples of, of, uh, of companies where yeah, you are really the designer. For example, Nike have, have their shoes that you can completely customize yourself. Uh, and for a lot of, lot of uh, customers, yeah, that's a bit too far, too far of, of customization. So it's also for us con uh, constantly looking for, okay, what, what should be the, 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 the customer? What can they still do themselves? And how big of, an, of, an, uh, of a group is that that, that that really likes that? Or should we limit it? Yeah, we, we can offer this in, 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 in hundreds of colors, but yeah, it also gives us, us uh, more problems and still so many choices are not interesting for, for uh, a customer. We also experiment with, uh, with engraving uh, photos on, uh, on, on products. That's an, an interesting option, but then the, the, the photos should, be, uh, should have a good quality. So the, yeah, the examples uh, th that you uh, just discussed uh, were designed here. Uh, do you also use the facilities for other 
um, assignment? Yeah, yeah. So half half of the time we we work for uh, other clients. We work for uh, architects, for designers to make prototypes and and and, uh, and mockups. Uh, we work for fashion designers that come here to to cut uh, patterns in in, in uh, textiles. Uh, we also make small series of products for for other other clients. So in one way, we make our own products uh, uh, and, and and sell those through our web shop or through different shops uh, around Netherlands, uh, uh, around the Netherlands. Uh, and in another way, we are uh, we work for clients mostly in Amsterdam uh, uh, through a business to business uh, concept. Thank you very much for uh, this insightful interview.